face the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, this is Nagato's Revenge and welcome back to my channel. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing on how to hack your Vita in seconds with the Finn and Trinity GUI for firmware 3.69 and 3.70. If you guys did like this video, please be sure to follow my latest social medias so you'll know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel. With that being stated, let's go ahead and get to the prerequisites for this video. What you need is a modded PlayStation Vita or a PlayStation TV using the Henkaku or Ajon Core or Trinity hack. You also need your PlayStation TV or PS Vita to be on 3.69 or 3.70 firmware. You'll also need a program called QCMA, Fin Trinity GUI. You'll also need an installed Python 3.7.3 if you're on Windows and either if you have the three demos for your respective region. So if you're from the United Kingdom or from EU, go ahead and download ApeQuest. If you're from the United States or North American regions, go ahead and download local Roku Minai Carnival. And if you're from Japan, go ahead and download E7. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Alright, so just to verify before we even get started on the PC portion of the tutorial that we are on 3.70 firmware. I am in this case the reason why I have Japanese characters because I have already ran the Trinity exploit that's why you see like 3.70 with some Japanese characters but make sure also on your Vita that you have the demo installed for your respective region as stated in the prerequisites in this case I'm from the United States so I'm downloading the local Roco Midnight version of the PSP demo if you guys from UK um, go ahead and download Ape Quest and such and so forth but what we also need to go ahead and focus on for this process as well that you need a activated PSN account and also in the PSN store you need to also download your game with that being said we're gonna go ahead on to the PC assuming that you guys did all of the PlayStation Vita prerequisites as I just stated it right now what we need to do is go ahead and focus on the actual uh, PC proportion of this tutorial so what we need to download is basically the these three items let me go ahead and state them so you need the fin trinity version 0.1 zip and basically this is just a gui format of ex uh, basically installing the trinity hack a little bit faster than normal you also need python dash 3.7.3 version and also you'll need qcma setup once you have those three uh downloads and every um program i'm using in this video will be in the download description below as all my videos I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit what is Fin Trinity so we could get like a better, you know, understanding. So basically it's a Python, excuse me, Python tool to run through all the manual steps of patching a game for Trinity by the official flow. So if you guys know, uh, the flow recently released his uh, Trinity exploit for versions 3.69 and 3.70 for your PlayStation Vita or PSTV uh, for that matter. And with this uh, new exploit it's on the latest firmware so it does take a little bit of time to basically download the game and basically uh, manually you would have to patch it by using um, some CMD command but with this this Python tool it does all the work for you and then I'm gonna show you how to like basically do this and this is a very early like work in progress or kind of like a beta um, thing so it may have some bugs and kinks in it but from what I've tested, it works pretty fine. So what we need to do first, since we got that out the way, is go ahead and use WinRAR or just unzip um, your files or the Fin Trinity uh, zip to your desktop as shown here. And then what you'll get is basically this little thing right here for um, basically the Fin Trinity.py file or the Python file and also GUI. And you should get all your of your classes files in one directory. Once you we need to go ahead and focus and reinstall or in this case I'm going to show you guys how to install Python um basically you could just go ahead and type on and Google Python 3.7.3 and then just download this version as well what we need to do is just go ahead and install the exe um, let me go ahead and uninstall it just to show you guys on the full process uh, for this point but since that is uninstalling in the process I'm gonna pause the video right here and then show you guys on how to like do it from the initial startup 
all right guys so just to show you from the initial startup on how to do this i uninstalled python so what we're going to do now is install it so go ahead and click on python go ahead and hit install now and then basically i already did some of the process to this step what it should be doing now is installing basically the libraries and also like the executables for python 3.7.3 it shouldn't take too long for this process but once this process is done what we're going to go now is to qcma and i'll explain a little bit more on how to set that up as well uh, the reason why we need to uh, set up python for this process because the uh, fin trinity um, gui uses python for it to basically run and trust me, these two, uh, basically setting up the Python and QCMA setup may seem kind of tedious as of right now, but compared to the initial um, or the original way on how to install Trinity Exploit, it's much, much faster. So I do recommend y'all guys to, you know, do this process instead of like the older version. Uh, but with that being said, the basically Python has installed, so we could go ahead and Oh, do not hit cancel now I keep on doing that it should get this a uh, little message that stated that setup was successful and then now you could close it but now what we want to do is go ahead and go to QCMA setup make sure you're running this as admin if you're not an administrator on your PC go ahead and hit yes you probably didn't see that on the screen but what it's doing now is unpacking the QCMA data um, make sure that um, you uninstall QCMA if you're already um, previously had it installed but if you already had it in QCMA already installed you don't really need to do this process it's just for people who are starting to do the Trinity uh, hack but go ahead and select your language mine is English and then go ahead and hit next go ahead and read the terms of service and just hit I agree go ahead and install QCMA wherever you wanted to in this case I did it on my C drive go ahead and hit next um but for this basically this component I'm basically going to install lib use or excuse me lib USB zero driver um you guys can already start one USB driver but for some odd reason my Vita doesn't pick up so that's why I have to install this driver as opposed to the one stated but go ahead and y'all guys install one USB driver if y'all guys uh, if y'all guys Vita doesn't connect the very first time go ahead and try the lib USB zero driver with a fresh restart for your PC and your Vita but with that being stated um, go ahead and let it QCMA do its thing as shown here and then basically once um, QCMA and Python has finished you should get this uh, little thing that uh, states that the lib USB Win32 PS Vita uh, thing has installed as well you could go now and run QCMA for the very first time and what it's basically going to do is refresh its database and all that stuff so i'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here or actually i'm not going to pause the video right here excuse me you basically should get um that stated that qcma has refreshed some items in your database but before we even pause the video and get to the ps vita what we need to do is go ahead and go into settings and make sure we have our um you know into certain directories so in my case where my applications and backups and this is the folder we're going to be messing with today is going to be in my zero uh, C users drive and in, in this little directory here and for our other advanced settings make sure you could go ahead and click offline mode make sure that you have your CMA protocol selection you could go ahead and make this the latest also this is very important make sure that firmware is 0.0.0, .0 up to date and then go ahead and hit OK. Now what we need to focus on is basically plugging in our PlayStation Vita to our PC and then going from Content Manager and to copying our demo of our choice. All right, since we finished basically installing Python and also basically QCMA, what we need to do now is go to our Vita. As shown here, what you wanna do is go ahead and open up Content Manager and go ahead and hit Copy Content. And now basically you should see both of your devices, so your PlayStation Vita and also your PC. Make sure to go ahead and hit Applications as well, and then go to PSP slash Other. 
and then basically you see your demo of choice for your respective region of course and then go ahead and hit copy and ok once this process is done it should take a little second to you basically copy from your pc to or excuse me your vita to your pc what we're going to do now once that process is done is go ahead and finish the rest of the exploit on your pc running the python gui for fin and trinity and this method would be much faster than the original one as stated also for this process make sure when we get to the pc i'll explain a little bit more about this on how to back up the process so i'll meet you guys on the pc all right so assuming that you follow the recent steps just showing that you basically uh copied over your playstation vita demo for your respective region to your pc what we need to do now is go ahead and go back into qcma so going into qcma right here by right clicking over it going back into settings what we need to go to is basically focusing on this uh, directory right here which is application slash backups go ahead and hit browse go ahead and hit to p game this is where our psp game of this in go into this little thing right here um this is our a o a i o i d excuse me yours will be different from mine's and then basically your uh game depending on what region will be different from yours and just to verify that your game is in here um you could go ahead and just go ahead and rename name or hit rename excuse me go ahead and hit Control c and then if you paste it into google you'll see that basically your game of choice or your demo should be in there so in my case since i'm from the united states um I, mine's is local local yours may be something different if you're from the uk and using ape quest but that's just like a little general step if you want to know if your you know actual game is in there if you don't recognize the content id if you guys you know did previous backups but with that being said what we need to do now is go ahead and back out and now we need to focus on the actual installation to the trinity hack so let's go ahead and since we unzip our fin trinity.zip go ahead and open it up and now go ahead and maximize your screen and i'll explain a little bit um a little bug i ran into so for example if you guys uh, already previously have google chrome or something sometimes your python files will open up in google chrome and if you do get this little issue which i had what i have a basically a very simple fix for it so what you need to do is any file that says bot or excuse me uh dot py what we need to do is go ahead and hit open with go into choose another app because if you see here how it says other options, it was already manually toggling to Google Chrome. What we need to do is make sure it's toggling to Python, not the 32-bit installer one, but the actual python.exe. And the way to do that is going to more apps, scrolling all the way down, and look for another app on your PC. If you go into Windows or your C drive, go into program, or excuse me, out your uh, programs, and go into Windows right here you should basically see a file called py.exe make sure it's on this one and not this one make sure it says py.exe go ahead and hit open and then from there um basically it's just connecting to that one so as you uh do that process right now you should basically uh get fin trinity the gui to pop up and then you should get this little notification that states your you know psn id also your aoid uh count or content number or whatever this thing is and also your demo of choice so like i said before mine says local rogo it tells me my content id and all you would have to do for this process is go ahead and hit confirm and i'll just move the fin trinity or i'll move this little window side by side so you can see and then basically what is happening now is manually patching uh the game for ourselves um with that being stated um back before even this was released um we would have to manually do this via cmd and like type in all of this stuff but with this program it's very much uh, user friendly for people who do not know how to basically do the uh, command prompt things or if they run into issues this automatically does it for them so as c Oh, as shown here it basically decrypted my game for me and then it's basically re-encrypting my game and then once you get this uh thing applied you should get this little uh confirmation message that states that trinity has been applied to refresh our qc make database so what we need to do now is just go ahead and x that out go ahead and hit show hidden icons excuse me go ahead and right click over our qc made thing and then go ahead and hit refresh database and then once that process is done as well, 
what we need to do is before we even uh hit refresh database you should see 400 or not 491 items that would depend on how many items you have in qcma what we need to do is go ahead into this little fin trinity folder that's been created for us and then what we need to do now is go ahead and you will see these three folders you'll see the actual backup the actual decrypted folder and also your content id the one that says dot with the hack what we need to do now is just go ahead and copy go back into qcma and then from there going into qcma hitting your settings going back to application slash backups going to hit browse and then going into p game this is where all your playstation portable games will go to go ahead and hit your account ID right here going to your content ID or basically right here what we need to do is go ahead and hit paste excuse me not to go into this, to this folder what we need to do now is go ahead and back out of this folder right here or basically drag the original folder to your desktop and then just rename this one to the original name with the regular uh, content ID I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that out and then just backspace on this and now basically this is the eternity or basically the demo with the trinity exploit already pre-installed so once you do this as well again go ahead and refresh your database as shown here and now basically once that's done you could go ahead and connect your vita into your pc and i'll meet you guys back on to my vita showing case on how to install trinity the trinity exploit All right guys, so since we already have the Trinity exploit already installed, what we need to do is go ahead into content manager and we need to go ahead and hit copy content. Make sure that your Vita is connected to your PC, of course. Go ahead and just wait for a second and then you should basically see your PC. Go ahead and hit PC to the system. Go ahead and hit application. Go ahead and hit PSP other. And then now you should see your demo of choice. What we're going to do now is basically just wait for this uh, process to install and this is the uh, version that has the trinity exploit as well so as shown here i showed my computer and it's basically doing its transfer as of right now um it has three minutes left so i'm going to pause the video and then once it's done i'm going to come back and show you that it has installed and successfully all right so as shown here um, basically this process has finished installing for me but now as you should see on your screen basically the trinity exploit should be on your live area now what you want to do is go ahead and of course i love the llamas nice and silky smooth